Red Rock Falls is a beautiful hike for the whole family near Oakhurst and Bass Lake, California. What's it like? Is it hard? How do you do it? Coming up. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Christine with Where in the World is CL and I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out and go travel. And on this two minute Tuesday, I'm gonna be sharing with you in two minutes or less how to do the Red Rock Falls hike via the Lewis Trail, which by the way, that's the only trail that goes there. All right, start that timer. Where do you find this trail? There's a super clear parking lot and this trail is located 10 to 15 minutes north of Oakhurst and Bass Lake and just 10 to 15 minutes south of Yosemite. So it's not in the Yosemite park. You don't need a permit and the parking's super easy. There's a large lot and if it happens to be overflow, there's parking along the street where you can just parallel park. That Google map as well as everything I talk about is in the description below. So make sure you check that out. Let's pull up the All Trails app, which is one of my favorite apps to look at hiking trails and we can see that it's a 3.9 mile hike. So it's fairly short and it's 531 feet of elevation. So it is a little bit of a uphill climb. You're going up and then you're coming back down, but it's really not that bad. Anyone of any age can do it. My nephew who's 12 years old was able to do it just fine. I would call this a moderate to easy hike. You definitely don't need your rugged hiking boots, but you do need sneakers. So make sure you wear the appropriate footwear. By the way, if you're getting some value out of this video, cheers that like button and consider subscribing for all things travel. I have a few more helpful tips for you. One of them, the waterfall at the end, it can get really, really crowded. So consider going past the waterfall and onto the side where there's a beautiful stream and we were able to have that whole area to ourselves. The water is really cold. So just know that you're not gonna be fully immersed and swimming around in it. It's pretty cold. I found it helpful to bring a small towel to dry my feet off after being in the water before I put my socks and shoes back on. Another thing, consider bringing a hat and sunglasses. It's pretty well shaded with the trees, but there are some areas where it is open. And the trail is super easy to follow. It's well marked and it really is obvious which way to go. And it's pretty highly trafficked with a lot of people. Bam, that's how you do Red Rock Falls. And if you, if you don't want the hike and you just want the waterfall, there's another waterfall right at the entrance. So you can skip the hike completely. If you're considering going up to Yosemite, check out my other video about that linked below, as well as Bass Lake. Those were epic trips. If you're doing this hike, leave me a comment below. I'd love to know. I'm here every week with new adventures. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.